<laughs> what do you I want? I went hunting in Walmart and I found us some bologna pickled rope. Ew. Pickled rope. The smile making people. Ew. This is 1904. Pickled rope. Oh my god. Packed in vinegar pickle, artificial flavored. Oh, we got Thanksgiving team plates around. Thanksgiving. That's what she's doing. <laughs> got the natural day of the beat girl. <laughs> so I heard you wanted some meat for dinner tonight. I think that's enough. Whoa! <laughs> I feel like knock somebody out with this. This is like a weapon. It should be sold behind like key and lock. That's some wildness. So some of, some of you might not know this, um, but Canada has some pretty strict guidelines on what uh, children are allowed to eat for breakfast, what we're allowed to eat for breakfast. Um, due to our healthcare system, um, we have like a, a type of food rating. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I really, really, really wanted as a kid, but didn't get to eat because it was not sold in Canada. Like, cookie crisps. Like one. <laughs> cookie crisps. <laughs> cookie crisps. I always wanted those. Um, so yeah, definitely Canada does not condone eating cookies for breakfast. Um, ice cream scoops. Never even heard of that. What? That's definitely not in Canada. Um, mocha crunch. That's not in Canada. Crave is not in Canada. Mini Oreos, never seen that. Um, I'm pretty sure anything that's cookie based um, <laughs> you is not find. being sold in Canada for breakfast. Um, we did have Captain Crunch, but not Crunch Berries. We had Captain Crunch Originals. Um, Fruit Loops, we do have, um, but not with marshmallows. Um, so I guess there's just like all these added things in here that we don't even know about. So that is what? happens in Canada. You don't get to eat cookies for, for breakfast, but while I'm here, I'm gonna get to eat cookies for breakfast every day if I want to. <laughs> uh, lunchbox? <laughs> this is what happens when you go shopping with me. I never bring a carriage. <laughs> so I'm gonna just try and carry as much as we can. That's as, as much as we buy today, all right? <laughs> bad kitty, bad kitty, my cheese puffs kitty, my cheese puffs kitty, bad kitty. You decided to get a carriage, didn't you? I can't carry as much stuff as my wife wants. Mm -hmm. This is what the hell is this, lunchbox? What do you need? Some nasal spray? 88 cents all day pain relief. It's uh, what I could see is a whole bin of drugs, prescription drugs, <laughs> prescription for 88 drugs. cents. For 88 cents. Your choice cents. for 88 cents. Oh my goodness, <laughs> America. Okay, you guys are not gonna believe what just happened. So I'm walking with all this stuff because I'm a one-man tripper guy. Someone just came up to me, uh, pulled up to us and said, hey man, I gotta do one good deed for the day. How far y'all walking? But like, we're parked right there. That's just so awesome, man. Southern hospitality is real, guys. Southern hospitality is real. So awesome. Thank you, Louisville. We're in America. Yeah, we definitely need to whoop one of these. So where are we going? We just left. Oh, am I restarting this? Yeah. <laughs> right. Mommy, you can't do that. Yeah, but you have to tell me if I'm re- All right, we're on. So where are we going? Well, we just spent uh, two lovely nights in the Wal Walmart parking lot, Super Walmart parking lot of uh, Louisville. Uh, now we're heading to Indiana. So we are traveling to a different state and we're gonna go meet up with Josh. Uh, and Bryce and uh, fix the generator and the RV, so get that done. Um, we're gonna plug in, get all our laptops charged, and get all our editing and our videos done. So today's gonna be a, a long, hard work day. Um, it's really gray, gray, gloomy, and rainy, so I think uh, flying might be put on a hold today and we'll get some work done. That is where we're going. Lunchbox out.
lunchbox. Scissors. What are we doing? What are we doing? We dumping what comes out of there. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. I can't believe it. So explain to people like me who have no idea how RVs work. Um, so inside your RV, you have a fresh water tank, um, which you fill up with fresh water, obviously. That's usually the biggest tank. Uh, then you also have um, a gray water tank, which is what comes when, when you use your shower and sinks. So that's what goes in the gray water tank that you can empty. And then there's the other tank, which is your waste. So that's when you go to the bathroom. Um, so every once, in a while, every once in a while, you do got to empty all these facilities. Um, and that is what we're doing right now. So it's like a tube that connects like directly to the RV. Exactly. Pretty gross. <laughs> and we have, I bought a new tube. Nice. Because the guy did tell me this one was starting to leak. Uh, could you imagine a tube leak? Ew. So as you can see, there's this like little springs of water coming out of this one. So you should just put use the new one, right? I'm going to throw this one out after that we use it. Now. Yeah. No point in like putting the new one on now and then getting that one all dirty. Yeah. You have to wash it after, right? Yeah, you, gotta, you wanna rinse it all after. <laughs> so I got gloves in there. Gross. That'll be my job. That's the man's job. <laughs> Lunchbox is getting ready to work. Set up the home office, yo. Getting ready to do the RV edits. It looks so serious. Very serious now, this work mode. <laughs> I 